So now see a equation of a plane progressive simple harmonic wave. Suppose a wave is starting from the origin and traveling in the positive direction of x with a speed v. And now see here this wave propagate due to the repeated periodic vibration of the particles of the medium about their mean position. Suppose you take the particle which is at here the origin here. It is vibrating for about its mean position. We consider initially the particle is going upward to the mean position that is in the positive direction from the mean position. Then displacement at any time t of this particle can be given y 0 t because 0 is here for the origin is equal to a sin omega t where a is the amplitude of the particle which is oscillating about their mean position. Since this wave is propagating, so all the particles of the medium vibrating periodically or the repeatedly here. So consider a particle P here which is at a distance x from the origin. So this particle and this particle which was at the origin, they are not in the same phase. So there will be obviously some phase lag, the particle which is at P. So the particle which is at P, its displacement can be written x and t which depend on both x and t here a sin omega t minus phi and this phi is called phase lag, phase lag of the particle with respect to the particle at the origin. You know for the distance lambda phase changes by 2 pi it means for the wavelength lambda for lambda phase changes by 2 pi. So, for the distance x phase changes by for x phase changes by 2 pi x upon lambda. So, the phase lag we can write here 2 pi x upon lambda. So, now this equation can be written here y x t is equal to a sin omega t minus 2 pi x upon lambda. So, this is here the equation for of the displacement. So, now this is the displacement at any time t and at a distance x from the origin a sin omega t minus 2 pi upon lambda x, this is the phase lag here. So, we can write here 2 pi upon lambda is equal to k that is called actually propagation constant propagation constant or angular wave number, angular wave number. So, the same equation can be written here x t is equal to a sin omega t minus k x. So, th whether this or this both are the equation of the progressive wave traveling in the positive direction of the x that means from left to right. If the wave is traveling suppose from right to left, so we can write here if wave travels from right to left, then we can write y x t is equal to a sin omega t plus k x. So, if the wave travels from left to right we write this equation for the progressive wave and if the wave is traveling from right to left then we write here omega t plus k x. See here initially we have assumed particles of the medium is vibrating and going up or to the positive direction of the mean position. So, this is about the equation of the progressive wave and also we can write these equation in the different forms. You can also write these equation in the form of the velocity of the wave. Now, see so we can write this equation in the form of the or in that in terms of wave velocity. So, see here we can write a sin here we can we can write here first 2 pi upon t into t minus 2 pi upon lambda x we can take common 2 pi upon lambda. So, a sin 2 pi upon lambda that is k actually, we can write here lambda upon t into t minus x. Lambda upon t is the wave velocity. 
So, we can write a sin 2 pi upon lambda into uh, v t minus x. So, this is also here the equation of progressive wave in terms of the wave velocity. Here this wave is also traveling from left to right. If it is right to left, you have to write here v t plus x. See what is phase and phase difference. So, see here we have done already phase in the ch previous chapter that is oscillation. Phase is actually a quantity which describes the position of the vibrating particle or the state of the motion of the particle as the wave actually travels here. So, you know this equation y is equal to here x and t here a, y is a function of x and t both a sin omega t minus k x, where k is propagation constant or angular wave number. So, if I write here initial phase of the particle which is at origin that is phi naught, this is called here argument of the sign in this equation. So, phase is also defined as the argument of the sin or cosine in the equation. So, we can also write here phi x and t, phi also depend on x and t. So, we can write here omega t minus k x plus phi naught. If you are taking phi naught is equal to 0 that is initial phase is 0. So, you can write phi x t is equal to omega t minus k x. So, phase is here also depending on x and t both. Now, if you take here d phi upon d t, we are getting here the rate of change of the phase angle here with respect to time. So, we can write here omega that is equal to here 2 pi upon t. We can also write here this is the del the phase change in the phase is equal to 2 pi upon t into here delta t. So, the phase difference is equal to 2 pi upon t, t is the time period of the particle is here and 2 pi upon t into delta t here that is called here time difference. Similarly, we can write here this one with respect to x. So, we can get d phi upon d x is equal to minus k negative sign indicating here that is a phase lag. So, we can write here minus 2 pi upon lambda or we can write here delta phi is equal to minus 2 pi upon lambda into delta x. This is called here path difference, this is called here the phase difference. So, phase difference is equal to here 2 pi upon lambda into path difference.